In the late summer of 1977, two unmanned spacecraft, Voyager 1 and 2, lifted off from Cape Canaveral atop Titan Centaur rockets. Traveling uninterrupted through interstellar space, the Voyagers will endure forever, long after everything man has ever built has crumbled into dust. In the event the spacecraft encounter alien intelligence, both Voyagers carry a copper phonograph record, a message, celebrating the sights and sounds of Earth. And friendly wishes. These unique discs contain photographs of everyday life, as well as voices, offering greetings in 55 languages. There are also animal noises, the music of Beethoven and Chuck Berry, a baby crying, laughter, rain, and a heartbeat. All of the planets in Voyager's path were in perfect alignment, something that occurs only once every 176 years. The spacecraft were in position to visit all four of the outer planets, a grand slam, an interplanetary home run. There's Voyager crossing over into interstellar space. It's the farthest thing we've ever sent anywhere. Voyager accomplished its mission so brilliantly and now goes on. This vehicle, which, was, which is long past its expected uh, service life, is still sending messages. They're going beyond what we know in our neighborhood. We are boldly going where no one has gone before. It's as simple as that. This is awesome. The Voyager record, and really the Voyager mission, were conceived and executed uh, on behalf of all humankind. With the sounds and heartbeats and whale sounds and, and all the different languages of the world. Hello from the children of planet Earth. My name is Nick Sagan, I'm the son of Carl Sagan, and in the 70s I recorded Hello from the Children of Planet Earth for the Voyager Golden Record. Dad would be enormously proud, it would be a great celebration. It's an amazing accomplishment. Paz e felicidade a todos. I was selected to do Portuguese. It's hard to imagine aliens being able to decipher the Golden Record, but if they can decipher it, I like to think that they'll, they'll take our message in a positive spirit. So we stand today at the threshold of a great epoch of infinite potential for discovery and exploration. This is not science fiction. This is better than science fiction. This is science reality. So Voyager, I bid you farewell. And thank you for being our ambassador. Job well done. You should write. You should maybe drop a postcard. 
Let us know how you're doing so we shouldn't worry. Congratulations to everyone on the Voyager team. But don't stop there. Many more worlds to explore. And thank you for expanding humankind's universe from Earth to interstellar space. It's amazing that Voyager has operated 36 years. Launched in 1977. Traveled past the gas giant planets. And now off into interstellar space. A radio telescope took a radio image of Voyager 1 spacecraft slightly over 11 billion miles from the Earth. And it's a very small radio dot amongst a, a sea of darkness. We have an instrument on Voyager which can measure the density of the ions, the plasma which is uh, out there. In March of 2012, it turns out there was a massive eruption from the sun which eventually reached Voyager 1 in April of 2013. When that blast wave reached Voyager, it caused the plasma around Voyager to vibrate or oscillate in a certain particular tone. Literally, they're the sounds of interstellar space. And by measuring that sound wave, we could measure the density of the plasma and we're amazed to find out that we were in interstellar space. This is a historic milestone in the great journeys of exploration that have been undertaken by humankind. Well, it is quite remarkable when you think about it, that far off now at ever increasing distances, there's this little vehicle, two of them, which were built here uh, many years ago and launched uh, 36 years ago, now on a journey that will basically last for billions of years. Thank you.